So this facility is uh, sort of standalone in its nature. There's nothing really like this in our region. Um, it's something that you would have to travel to to go see a concert or play. Um, so for the community, it's going to bring in a lot of people from out of town. Um, it's something that the people here at home can be very proud of. Um, you know, you can, you can go to a, a really top-notch performance here in your hometown. You don't have to go to Atlanta to see a Broadway show or, or something like that. This is going to be people from hopefully all over the world um, coming to Auburn to perform in Auburn because of the type of building that we're building. You know, hopefully it shines a light on our company in the community um, as well as regionally and nationally. You know, to, to build a building like this is, you know, a once in a, once in a lifetime opportunity sometimes um, for, for companies in our area because these things don't just pop up everywhere. So uh, we're on the Jay and Susie Gouge Performing Arts Center project, um, 85,000 square foot performing arts facility here for Auburn University. We are wrapping up the structure. Uh, we're, we're putting in some of the final skin elements. We've still got some brick ongoing. Uh, we've started the curtain wall, uh, which will close in the front lobby portion of the building. Um, so we're really kind of in that transition phase from uh, focusing on the, the structure and the dirt uh, and the skin to kind of working into the interiors. The building is spread out uh, over two floors, 85,000 square feet. Uh, it's sitting on a 12 acre site uh, here on the south end of Auburn's campus. Uh, tallest point of the building is in the stage house. It's uh, 83 feet approximately tall. It's over 100 rooms, I know that much. So it's over 100 rooms. In the auditorium alone, you have 1,200 seats. So our capacity for the theater seating is 1,200. Um, and then in the front of house, you have, it's basically all lobby. It's all lobby finishes. So you're gonna have really high-end finishes. You're gonna have some really nice spaces, tall ceilings. Um, that's where you're going to have your bathroom and your concessions and, and all of your information about the shows. Um, so it's really going to look good when you walk in from the front door. That's it's the showpiece of the building is that lobby. We basically have two different venues here. You have the indoor venue, which is what we're building, and then there's what we're calling venue two. Uh, it's an outdoor venue. Um, so the, the indoor venue can be used for anything from rock concerts to Broadway shows to even lectures. Um, guest lectures or, or big time speeches or whatever the university is doing. And then the outdoor venue is going to be more centered towards uh, amplified or unamplified performances. So I think that's where you're going to get more of your university concerts and stuff like that that's sponsored by Auburn when they want to do something outside they can. The, the unique aspects of, of working on a performing arts theater is this is the first one that Rayburn General Contractors has ever done. Um, so that has opened up a lot of learning opportunities every day when we come to work um, just to kind of see some of the intricacies of a building such as this would have. Uh, we've had to buy out a lot of items that you know would not be typical for I don't think anybody in the industry to have to buy such as you know tormentor doors or operable proscenium portal heads things of that nature um, you know it's all very one-off very unique to this project. Uh, so one thing that we've used Procore, uh, you know, being very innovative about is, is material tracking because, because of a lot of these unique items, we can't be late when it comes to material tracking. So we use it to basically ha have a printout of a report every Monday to go over, you know, are we, are we tracking, are we looking good as far as the anticipated delivery date, the confirmed delivery date, do we have everything we need uh, just to keep the project on schedule because in the end, uh, you know, a project as complex as this needs to have all the material well ahead of time to make sure that you're, you know, handling headaches when they get here, but you're preventing as many as you can as well.